This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. What I want to know is, how is it that these women are making allegations and how does that make you feel how with your, your relationship? Phone I mean, the second... We talked about the first there time. There it is. The yeah. second time. No, listen, how did that no, the first, Listen, I'm going to tell you. The first time when I came to her, I said, well, this is what it is. She said, so have you did anything with it? I said, no, I didn't do anything with it. It was just basically just okay. talk, just talking. So what was that woman so, claiming? They were just claiming that I was cheating. By having sex or by flirting? We were texting. So you're texting back and forth with this woman? Right. Okay, and what are you texting? Just... Pictures of... No, she texts me pictures. Pictures of what? That thing was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what did this woman text you pictures of? Uh, 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 where the sun don't shine. <laughs> her, her private parts? Exactly. Yes, you Okay. Y'all. Okay, did you send anything back? Yep. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Of your private parts? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I all did. of you? No, not not all, all of you, you know. or just that... pieces of me. Okay. okay. Were those the pieces where the sun don't shine? Of that you course. ain't got no business sending nobody. Okay, Miss okay. Darty, how did you find out about this? He showed it to me. So but this you... wasn't one of your associates. That's this was you. No, no, it was me. Yeah, it, it was, was you. No, oh, yeah, of course. And you're, you're texting with this woman, uh-huh. and she sends you pictures of her private part, right? And you send her pictures of your private parts, right. like, and I then would at be some so point scared, she tries like... to. Say she's going to make it known, and so that's when you go to... No, I then it was like the chick was saying, I don't know, what they, she was supposed to get pregnant by you. It was like, all, it was crazy. But, okay, we, Mr. Ne- but we've never I, met, like... I, here's my question. How do you do Why that? are you sending and receiving naked pictures when you're married <laughs> to this beautiful woman? Go again, on. again. You're Why? right. Why am I doing that? But again, like I said, I used to be out here. I used to be out here dealing with multiple women at times, you know, five, six women at one time. I'm you, I'm, I'm basically, I was a thought. I had no intentions on getting married. I had no intentions on ever being with one woman. But we was but married. But I was so. trying to work on it, and I told her, listen, I was out here. I was used to this. I'm used, it's, not a, it's not an overnight process, I'll, but I'll, listen, I'm trying the best I can, but I slipped up and got caught up. So this exchange of pictures with this woman, was that the time where you brought, where she, you all were laying in bed and someone said, hey, this is out here? No, that was the second. That was another time. That was another time. Yeah. But they used it. Whoever it was, that was the same yeah, picture. it was like the from, same Like, then it stuff, became... Like, it was just somebody... Just, somebody started playing. It was just messy and... Yeah. Because I was okay. just like... So that's how, I was... how is it that you turned to Cynthia or Lil Mo or mm-hmm. whoever you were turning to at that moment... And explain it to her. And explain this to her. What did you say? Like I said, I don't pull no punches. I don't, I don't know how to finesse it or make it sound good or anything. I just come out straight and say, yo, this is a girl that I've been texting. And, and I said, why? Because I don't have no dudes. I be texting. <laughs> you know, then it got to the point somebody said they was pregnant by him, and I said, well, where's this baby at? Was that... And that was all in the social media? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened? I mean, how did you find out that this woman was doing they this? They sent it well, to a blog. We, and it says, oh. uh, side girl, uh... Side, angry side chick. It was like something. I'm still waiting to see the baby. But, it, so but a couple days ever, later... Nobody's ever come forward with a baby. They never come forward. No. They never come to nobody church. And we're it, Muslim, so they don't ever pop up at the masjid, nothing. All right, so why are you waiting to see the baby if you never slept with her? I'm gonna see... They must know something I don't know. Well... Do they know something you don't know? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know the woman? Do I know the woman? Oh, social media, yeah. But you've never personally... The one this person I... never had a name attached uh, to it, so I don't know uh, who I don't, these people are. I'm ready to see the baby. All right, so the mystery woman who's pregnant, that's not the same woman that you sent the pictures to. No. It's a different woman. Yeah. So I, were I, you I, with I, this mystery woman or not? Mm, I, okay, social I, media is great. Social media can do a lot of things. Social, social media can't, can't get a woman pregnant. Hello. And so... What, you gonna have a dad go on virtual exactly, baby? You're, you're right. So, right. She's so, lying. So this isn't about your social media account. It's not it's about not. your associates using it to get some play. It's not about you flirting or sending pictures. We're talking about, did you... There's no way, impo- no way possible another that woman could have been who's pregnant. pregnant. There's no way impossible that she... Basically could, saying he never had any pregnant. sexual contact with anybody else besides me, because I ain't had no sexual contact or no conversations with nobody besides him, but... Okay. Like, and, and, and that's and, what you're and, telling like this court. Yes, there's nothing going on really in my life that she doesn't... anything she doesn't know about. So, since you have been married, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? No, Your Honor. And I told her before, 
this is the first time in my life I can actually say I can't even remember the, the last time I had sex with anyone else besides her. All right. So you love your wife. Of course. You want this relationship to work. Yes. You want this mind, marriage my to mind, work. Yes, I, I don't want, I'm, I'm work, trying to work this relationship out, and in my mind, it's like this do or die. How are you managing as a woman all of that intense pressure? Because it's one thing to be dealing with an issue of infidelity privately. Mm -hmm. But you are all on Front Street. Hello. Just... There's it, really no way to answer that. There's no way to deal with it. You just, like... When you're married... It's a, if I was just his girlfriend, I'd have been like... But that's what I'm so used to doing, just... It, just people do what they do, so... When you were talking to me about reading all of this and just having this... Your personal life out on out in the streets, mm -hmm. I could tell it's hurting you. Yeah. That's why we have uh, contacted and had a friend of the court come to share with us from a blogging standpoint what this looks like as a celebrity and how these stories get started. Okay. Ron, would you please escort into the courtroom Danny Canada? Yes, Your Honor. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing, y'all? All right. It's good to see you. Good. Miss Canada. Yeah. Yeah. So, You're from Bossip? I am. Bossip.com. Bossip actually stands for Black Gossip. Mm. And we specialize in covering stories like these. Uh, we talk about entertainment news. And uh, we average over 5 million unique visitors a month. Wow. So you're touching a lot of folks. Yes, definitely. Huh. So what is the fascination we have with celebrity relationships and, and their interaction mm -hmm. and what's going on? Well, Your Honors, I think what it is is that it makes us feel better to know that even people who are beautiful, that have these amazing celebrity lifestyles, can be betrayed and played like us. So when you have someone like uh, Lil Mo and mm -hmm. Carl Dargan, um, that just... I mean, that's a, a story the blogs just take and run with. Absolutely. It's a huge story. People are just fascinated by celebrity cheating scandals. Mm. So, a story like the Dargans with allegations of cheating, how, would that, how did that get started? Uh, that started through a tip. Someone contacted us. Mm. Um, they showed us these alleged text messages. And it just went from there. We had to... Obviously, had to talk about it because we had heard these rumblings for a while. And this dates back to 2014. And every time we wrote about this story on the website, it was our top story. We averaged 70 million page views. And every time we wrote about this, it was a top story for our website. Wow. All these people are responding to Lil Mo's husband allegedly cheating. Yes. We had people in the comments section arguing, saying, mm -hmm. oh, I don't believe that. Other people saying, of course he did it. He's trying to come up. So it was just back mm -hmm. and forth the whole time. I'm trying to come up. Yeah. Right. You see what's happening in the media. You see what they're... the way they're demonizing and scrutinizing from Usher point, no to everybody, but to, from idea. Kevin Hart. Like, the way the media... Soon, like... Even if it's something honest to get in a cup of coffee, oh, you saw that it's always gonna be something. So you literally have to become a prisoner in your own home. Stay home, go do your job, and bring your behind home. Soon as you say hi, soon as you like, soon as you follow, you're automatically putting yourself on in the in the line of fire. Miss Canada, do you ever have any concerns about the effect? How do you all manage that space where these are real people right. with real lives. Well, like you said, Miss Darden is a, a real woman. She's our superwoman. We remember her from back in the day with the blonde braids. So we remember that, but also we have a job to do. Mm -hmm. So we have to do our job. And if I get this story on my desk, then I feel compelled to write about it because this is something our readers are going to want to see. Unfortunately. Yeah. And when Miss Darden said people want the celebrity, but they don't want the backside of it, this is the backside of it. This is the backside. This is the messy side of it, for sure. So the stakes are, are really even higher for this. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it's not only relationship, it is a worldwide viewpoint right. on their relationship. Yes. Right. So people want to say, see, told you so. Because right. even if it come back, that ain't none of it true. That, nah, they got to do that again. It, it's no... Nobody it wins in this situation. Like, again, it just behooves you to what just... It is. Okay, so, Miss Darden, there have been a lot of rumors, a lot mm -hmm. of headlines. There are gonna be some headlines from the day, Any apparently. Any rumors about me? Not, not yet. Not yet. I can't wait to see what they got to say I did. Miss Darden, 
There's a lot on the line. Mm -hmm. Whatever, however this comes out, it's gonna be all over the world. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling right now? I mean, how are you feeling getting ready to find out the questions that you've been wondering about? I mean, we had this discussion before, so it's just like, it's just clarity, clarification on actually going through the motions of, I guess, tangibly making it evident what people have been saying. So have you prepared yourself for the results either way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Either way it comes either out. Either way. I'm always prepared. So I right. gotta ask you this. If it comes back that there has been some fun on the side, then what? We'll just see. Oh, that scares me. I'd rather you have said something. Don't be scared that, because that, you have that to always, right there you have to always remember when you do something, what's gonna be the end? Don't do, don't do nothing if you can't handle what you... You can't... Ha I always tell people my ending is impeccable. Well, let me just say this. And let me say this to you, because you didn't see what I saw. Mm -hmm. That's for happened. real. Every, uh, I, and you're right. Cynthia and or Lil Mo means business today. That look I saw was nothing but business. Oh, yeah. It's for real. Oh, yeah. Did you see what I saw? The most dangerous you saw. Oh, okay. And if you ain't seen it, you me. Felt I'm not even married to her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. To get to the bottom of this, mm -hmm. to get the answers, to get the results, to find out what's going on, the court has ordered a polygraph examination mm -hmm. of Mr. Dargan, and we have the result. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Kendall Shaw of Kendall Investigations into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. Sure. Mr. Shell, how are you today? Great, Your Honor. Thank you. Would you please state your credentials for the court? I was privileged to spend almost 25 years with the FBI in Washington, D.C., then became chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program in Washington, D.C. Before I retired, moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, where I have my private business, which is security guards, private investigations, and polygraph Kindle investigations. Yeah. All right, so in this case, you perform what's called a single theme polygraph examination. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you ask the same question a number of different ways just to see what the responses are from the person being examined. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you asked Mr. Dargan, since getting married, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your wife that she doesn't know about? You also asked him, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your wife since your wedding day that she's unaware of? What was his response to those questions? His response to those questions was no. What did the polygraph examination determine? Unfortunately, the lie detector determined he was being deceptive. Mr. Dargan, are there women that you've had sexual intercourse with since you've been married that your wife does not know about? Say it again, I'm sorry. Mr. No, Mr. I was, Dargan. No, I, I, I thought it was more to the question, I'm sorry. I mean, Hold I mean, on, Mr. Shaw, the polygraph came back deceptive. What else can you add to this? Uh, if I can also add something that uh, this gentleman said to me after the polygraph test. Please I, do. He uh, <laughs> mentioned to me that uh, there were, was a time when he told his wife that uh, he may have had sex with somebody, mm -hmm. but he told me there were other instances where she didn't ask, so he didn't tell her. <laughs> Thank God I have to take no test. Well. It is what it is. It says that and it says that. Like I said, I told y'all what I said and that's, and that's what it is. Let me just tell you, Mr. Cullen and I have been together. We've been married 28 years. Wow. I'm aware of that. And you cannot be married and messing around. Wow. You all have been together and married 13 years, but allegations of infidelity have you living in separate homes. Mm. Can you explain to me, Ms. Collins, why you are here? Yes, Your Honor. I'm here because I believe my husband's cheating on me. He's an ordained minister, and I believe he's been laying hands on every woman around town. Also, our sex life is different. And if he's been cheating on me, I'm leaving him. 
Well, there it is. It wraps it up, doesn't it? it? And you say he's an ordained minister. Yes, yes, and you Honor. believe he's laying hands on everybody. <laughs> First of all, none of that's true. All right. Well, what are you here to show? I'm here to show I love my wife. Mm -hmm. Secondly, to prove my innocence. And thirdly, to restore my marriage. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. But you are living in separate homes like right now. Is that correct, Mr. Collins? This is Collins? correct. What has this been like for you? I've tried to do everything right, and it's like it didn't work. Like the fiery darts was able to penetrate. And with them penetrating, it caused me to be separated from my wife. And, and when you're suffering and when you're going through it, you got to look back on the good times. What were the good times like when you all got together? Well, how I met my wife. Yeah. My former fiance, she was battling leukemia. And okay. she, was in, uh, she was in the hospital. So this was... is a different woman you were engaged yes. to? Yes, Okay. One day, I didn't have to go to work. Headed to the hospital, it was raining. And it started to rain pouring down harder, and I seen the sister walking. So I turned around and asked her if I could give her a ride because it was raining. And let her know I wasn't trying to pull no hanky-panky or nothing like that. I immediately told her about my fiance, upon which I dropped her off to her family member's house. I went to the hospital. When I made it to the hospital, my fiance said, you met her. I said, yes, I did meet someone. When you get to the hospital to see your fiance who's fighting leukemia, yes. she says you met her. Yes, and may I expound on that? Okay, because I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, because I'm... <laughs> this is the crucial thing, is that when I came home one day, this is before she had to go to the hospital, okay. I came in, tears screaming down her face. She says, I'm not the one you meant to be with. I'm only to train you up for her. I immediately told her, stop talking like that. You know, you're not going nowhere. Okay. And uh, she proceeded to tell me, yes, I know. My prayer has already been answered. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. So, yes. she basically had a prophecy about yes, this college. Yes, ma'am. Woo! Woo, I got chills. Okay. Miss Collins, that's a lot to live up to. Yeah. That's what did you love about him in the beginning? I loved about him because he was so honest. Mm. He was very honest and he was such a gentleman. How did he make you feel at the beginning of your relationship? Um, like a queen, like I was everything. It's just it. You are everything. That's why I'm here. And now how do you feel? Like trash to him. Like he don't even care about me. That's not so, true at And all. you believe this is all because he's cheating with somebody else? Yes. That I have not I believe done. that he has cheated with someone else. What are the warning signs that you've seen that make you believe that? Well, one of the warning signs was... Uh, my husband and I, we watch porn, and we saw some things, and we wanted some condoms to try some different things. Well, when I get home, he already has the condoms, not in a, not in a package. They looked old, and being that we wasn't getting alone, he was not supposed true. to wait for me to go get them. We not were supposed true. to do that together. Not true. So, we were not so old. you're wondering who he had these old condoms for, right? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. All right, tell us yes, what happened. Yes, I did go get the condoms, but it wasn't like she think. I went to the store to get me some loose cigarettes. The man behind the counter told me they did sell singles. Opposed to spending five dollars some change on the box, I bought three singles. Maybe it was a bad judgment on me going and getting them okay. by myself. Yes, I don't it was. deny that. But far as me having them for someone else, that is not true. I solely went balling for the purpose of what me and my wife had discussed. But the problem is, you think that he got them or had them yes, for somebody else. Them. Yes, Your Honor. Why would I have something and put it in plain sight for you to find if I was trying to hide or do anything deceitful? And, Ms. Collins, you don't believe him? No. Other than finding the condoms, what other reason do you have to believe that he's cheating? I saw a text one night. We land in bed 3 o'clock in the morning. How you doing, stranger? And then another one, uh, that exact stranger. And okay. another one, okay. 3 o'clock in the morning from a female that I know saying she can't sleep. Okay. All right. Okay. And, and you submitted those. He didn't defend it, me, or nothing. So and you submitted those recollections to the court, is I that right? I sure did. All right. So the first one you mentioned, this is from a woman that says, how are you doing, stranger? Yes, Your Honor. And this what? is at 3 in the morning? Yes, Your Honor. And you're like, okay, that's a phrase you use with somebody you haven't seen in a while. Ain't nothing open that time of night Hold for up. legs, Your Honor. 
that concerns me, but it's the next one that's, that's causing me some issue. This is another text that you saw from another woman. That I know, yes. That you know, yes. and it says, I can't sleep. Three o'clock in the morning. This is from three o'clock in the morning. My husband saying she can't sleep. Now, to me... I, t- I texted her back and said, well, tell your husband that. He didn't text her back and said nothing. First of all, that's not true at all. Well, Mr. Collins, my concern is this text you received at 3 in the morning okay. from another woman that says, I can't sleep. Right. To me, that's just like just a step below you up. Exactly. Okay. So, and you know what? Right. When you okay. get a text at okay. 3 in the morning right. that says, you up, exactly you what know what saying. that means, right? I, I hear exactly okay. what you're saying. Okay, now, here's my question. Why are you receiving late night texts from women saying, how you doing, stranger, and... I can't sleep. Okay. The first one, the how you doing stranger thing, is that someone that I met, I talked with her nephew, giving him some counseling, that was it. Never had any relations with this woman or nor from anywhere else. Here's yes. the problem. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it takes a certain level of comfortability right. to decide... To do such a thing. Yes. I understand what you said. Ex- but in his uh, defense, that... he can't control who texts him. Maybe, All right, but why... Uh, okay, from, well, uh... can you explain to me I can't sleep? Because my response would have been, so? <laughs> oh, oh, but he didn't uh, say but listen, nothing. Listen, I, I didn't myself. have a chance to respond because she t- took my phone and did what she wanted but, but to do. Why? Are, but why are opposing... But the question is, no, that? the question is... Yes, and why? I did address it. No, no, no. But, but because you, I didn't address you're not li- it... Mr. Collins, like you're not she listening. wanted me to. You're not listening. You're not listening. I'm listening, sir. Listen to me. Why is a woman texting you at 3 in the morning saying, I can't sleep? That, I can't answer why she put it in that context at all. But me so is this a woman been... that you have a relationship with? No, not at all. Is this sir. a woman that you've been intimate with? No. She obviously felt comfortable enough with you I... out of all the people in the world to text at 3 in the morning, I can't sleep. And I do understand, in hindsight, I should have did a little bit more than what I did at the time. Miss Collins, what else do yes. you have? Um, one of my coworkers pulled me to the side one day. Oh, my uh, God. She's a stripper, mind you. <laughs> she pulls me to the side one oh day. She God. said, your husband gave me a ride home. Out of line right there, because she shouldn't have never been in the car without me. Then she say, your husband asked me to do a private dance for her. That's a lie. She a told lie. you this. She, to- she was uh, crying with tears in her eyes because everybody at my job liked him. Mm. And they felt that they could talk to him, and, you know, that's why she would talk to him sometimes. But when he mm. got out of line... Would she say he asked her to uh, strip for him private? Okay. So what did you do when you got that information? I asked him about it. And what did you no, say, Mr. Collins? Me. She didn't ask well, me. Well, he anything. gonna say I told him. I... Don't don't tell me what I'm gonna say. Okay. It's what happened. She immediately told me she believed the woman over me, somebody who she's been with for 13 years now. She immediately told me, oh, I think you're the liar. She's telling the truth. Did you give the stripper a ride home? Yes. Okay. Did you tell the stripper that you wanted her to give you a private dance? No. Or did you say anything close to that that she can misconstrue? Yes, she, she could have. What did you say? I told her she was saying that the club that she was working at wasn't finished being remodeled or whatever. I said, well, maybe you need to do some private dances. Nothing else. That's all you said? That's all I said. And you had no sexual none, contact? None, none, whatsoever. I- you, you, you. <laughs> Tell me what the stress on your face is, because I'm... Something I, what somebody you, does. She's a stripper. No, I'm just trying to get my arms around an ordained minister telling a stripper, <laughs> make some extra right. money, okay. private and let, me tell you why. and let me tell you why. All right. Let me tell you why. Because, uh-huh. first of all, I can't change who she is, but that don't mean I'm supposed to look down on her. I would have said to her, okay, your club isn't open. This is an opportunity for you to find something different. Let's talk about your skill set. <laughs> That's what you do. It ain't got nothing to do with judgment. That might have been your opportunity to give her a different role that would lead to church. I'm just saying. Hey, Amen. And I agree with you. Sir. I don't know. It's all kind of strange. Miss well, Collins? Yes, Your Honor. Are there any other women that you're concerned that your husband is cheating with? Yes, Your Honor. This is, uh, this is last but not least. <laughs> I'm at church one day. <sighs> 
And uh, one of the ministers at the church, one of the ministers come up to me and say, ask your husband to stop calling my daughter phone after 10 o'clock at night. Now let's, now let's really find out why I was calling the phone. I say, what? Calling your daughter? For, I wanted to know what for too. Why are you calling someone's so, so daughter at after 10 o'clock at night? And don't tell me it was to tell her to go do some private dancing, please. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's had a good the laugh, but it ain't the matter 10, for me. You don't call nobody else. Excuse me, I'm talking again. I, I haven't interrupted you. Well, that's not true. I was calling true. these numbers because I found them in her phone. It wasn't just that one number. I called several numbers. Are like you that. suggesting to this court was that you were going through your wife's phone... Investigating. Investigating, and so you were trying to find out who these numbers yes. belonged to. and yeah. that's why I was calling her number, to find out who it really was. But there was no conversation with this lady? None. You never called her since? No. You had not called her before? No. There's no relationship of None. any sexual kind with this young None lady? None whatsoever. None. This is a mess. It is. It yeah. is. It's, this is a mess. mess. Yeah. It is a mess. Yeah. Because you've got... Yeah. You all have been together for 13 years. If it comes back that he's cheating, you're done. I'm done. I'm done. Because well, I don't deserve that. I don't. But... I don't. Well, let's look Let at me the ask you. Hold on. Hold on, Mr. Collins. But if it comes back that he has, in fact, not been cheating, can he come home? He, I love my husband. Yes. Yes. Right. Please. Okay. Yes. Mr. Mm -hmm. Collins, I think we have enough evidence. Mm. Let's talk about what we got. Okay. We have text messages from women in the middle of the night to include, I can't sleep. We have a woman who comes to Mrs. Collins and says, your husband asked me for a private dance. Then there was a woman who confronted Mrs. Collins at church, a parishioner, saying, tell your husband not to call my daughter after 10 o'clock. And then the final thing is, he comes up with these old condoms and she's concerned that he had these condoms because she's like, well, who are you using them with? To get to the bottom of this, this court has done a complete and full investigation. At this time, the court will hear from former military interrogator and expert Lena Sisko to determine, is he cheating? Ron, please report Ms. Sisko in. Lena Sisko. Ms. Sisko, how are you today? I am well, Your Honor. How are you? Doing well, thank you. It's good to see you. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. I first had the accused write a witness statement, which I analyzed for any indicators of deception and truthfulness, and then I interrogated Mr. Collins to see if he was cheating. What were your initial findings? When Mr. Collins came into the room, he was not friendly. He didn't want to look me in the eye, and he didn't want to shake my hand. After he sat down and we engaged in a conversation, he began to open up. At one point, we started talking about his wife, and he jumped up out of the chair, and he headed to the corner of the room, and I could hear him. He was breathing really heavy, and he started to cry. He had an emotional breakdown. Wow. What did you learn further after that? I asked Mr. Collins a lot of questions about the numerous allegations made against him. He admitted to me that he did indeed give a woman that works with his wife a ride. He admitted to me that he did have conversations late night with a woman. As he was telling me these two things, I saw no indicators of deception. I believe he was being truthful. However, he did admit something to me as we did talk, and he told me that before they were married, yes. he did cheat on his wife, and it was about two to three women, and that was about 2009, 2010. Yes. I don't care about that. So, what did you conclude regarding infidelity during your marriage? He gave me no signs of deception. And so, overall, I believe that Mr. Collins is being truthful, and he has not cheated on his wife since they've been married. <laughs> I love you, honey. I love you, too. I take my, my vows very seriously. I love you, too. Yes. Those are tears of joy I'm yes. looking at. Yes, yes. Tell are, him. I love my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we got to go home, too. Y'all break that up. Miss Collins. Oh.
Now that's a, you know what? You don't even see men with handkerchiefs beside my daddy. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, and my husband, my better half. Sorry. Wait, okay. oh, no, wait see, a minute, wait a minute. See, now you don't put me out there now, so now I gotta, I gotta prove that I do carry a handkerchief. You don't, you don't put me out there now, so. Miss Collins, I guess you're going home and he's coming home. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, and let me just say to you, I am so happy for both of you. Amen. Miss Kozak, you all are dating. This is your first significant relationship in some years, and you had a prior appearance in this court as an accused. Yes, Your Honor. But you fear issues of infidelity with Mr. Kozak are now appearing in your relationship. Yes. Tell us why you've opened this case. Okay, Your Honor. So, I know that Will is cheating on me. You know, I've been here before. I've done this. All the tall tale signs are there. And, you know, I, I'm praying that it's not true because I do love him. And I want to continue building this relationship but I'm about to renew my lease, and I don't want to make the mistake adding him to my contract if he's cheating on me. So you got some stuff at risk. <clears throat> Mr. Kozak, she says you're cheating on her. What do you have to say about that? I I'm here to prove that I'm not, and I'm being faithful. So you're like, this is not me. It's, it's not me. She, she, I think she's paranoid, and, and she's worried for all the wrong reasons, because oh. her past relationships hurt her. God. Well, and she says this is her first long-term relationship, so, you know, she is wanting this relationship to work out. She wants to believe that you're not cheating, but she says the warning signs are there, the telltale signs, because she has stood where you're standing right now. If she believed that, um, that she wanted this to work, I, we wouldn't be here right now. All right, but you, Miss Lewis, say you see the warning signs. You've been here and done that. Tell me what warning signs you see. Okay, first, Your Honor, in the beginning of our relationship, we also were very intimate, like, every day, multiple times a day. Oh, and boy. all of a sudden, we laying in bed, he's turning away from me, and I'm like, you know, let's do something. He's like, I'm tired, I'm not in the mood. I You're... started working a lot more, too, you know, from the beginning, too, and I didn't have this job from, from the beginning. But, okay. but now I got a new job, I work more hours, and I'm, I'm exhausted. And, you know, I don't always want to come home and have sex with her. I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm be tired, and I know I gotta... I do things all day, every day. Not just work, I got, okay. I, I got other priorities. Mr. Mr. Kozak, you know, the, the court papers indicate that you're 23 years old. Man, if you ain't doing it now, you ain't <laughs> never gonna do it. <laughs> I mean... I mean, Rod, am I, am I wrong? Not lying. Okay. Yeah. I mean, at 23, you should have boundless energy. Yeah, especially you for know, that activity. If, if you're not going to have it at 23, Weeks. you're not going to have it at 53, I can tell you. <laughs> can what? you tell him at 53? Oh, at 53, you know, you still have some energy. Don't get me wrong, I, right? I was like, I, I, okay. I haven't missed a beat. I was like, what have I missed? Okay, all right, but yeah, it's a difference. You got to put some extra work into it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's how you work out, Mr. Yeah, Keller. that's why I work out, you know, right. stay in shape, hit the treadmill. You got to put some extra work all into right. it. All right, well, I appreciate it. At 23, it should come naturally. So, those are your warning signs. Have you seen any, or do you have any evidence that supports that he's cheating, actually? Oh, yeah. All right, tell me about like, that. One time, when we finally were being intimate, he's on top of me, you know, we're getting into it, and I lean up to go kiss on his neck, and here I see in the light a hickey. Oh. Uh, you're sure it was a hickey? Oh, like, that's definitely what it looked like. Where was mm -hmm. it? On his, like, shoulder, neck. Right here, like on the collarbone. Yeah, that's what I meant, collarbone. Okay, yeah. what... Do, hey, go you, ahead, look. Are you saying that's not where you put it? I mean, what are you saying? No, I know for a fact it wasn't for me. We ain't had sex in weeks. Oh, oh and okay. And a picky don't last that long. Oh. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right, so you have a demonstration about this hickey. Yes. All right, Ron, would you go help our litigant with this yes, demonstration? Mr. Kozak, oh, you know... You've been working oh, out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that vest covers a lot. So, where exactly did you see the hickey on Mr. Kozak? Right. Is that lipstick? It was like that, right there on the... Kind of like on the collarbone. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Was Kozak? it... Wait, hold on. Was it a fresh hickey, or what? did it look like it was fading? What no, did it look it like? It looked fresh. Like, you know how bruises are colored, like yeah. purple and stuff? It yeah. was like red. Oh. 
All right, Mr. Kozak. This incident happened right after I got off work, and, and, you know, I tried to explain to her she wasn't accepting any answers, but, you know, it happened while I was at work lifting a box, you know, in, in and Where out of the work? freezer. Were you getting hickeys while you're lifting boxes? Uh, it wasn't hickey, it was a bruise to my shoulder. Oh, okay. Because I'm left-handed and I hold a box a different way and, it, and, it's, and it's full of frozen products. Yeah, and, and you were, you were working with no shirt on. No. And there was no tear on your shirt. A, a, a box doesn't but make it... it bruised you that A bad, box right? doesn't make a tear on a shirt. Okay, you brought a box. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to demonstrate how you got this bruise... Yes, I would. Uh, ...on your collarbone that, you know, Miss Lewis thinks is a hickey? I carry it like this, and so I can see where I'm going, and I don't drop it, and I don't bump into anything in the in the How restaurant. But the problem is the hickey's on the other side. See, she put it on oh. your left side. Oh. Yeah, you can't even get your story in line. Well, it's her story's out of line, then. Now, are you sure that that was from the box? I'm sure. That's his story, Cullen. He's sticking with He's it. He's sticking to it. All right, do you have any other reason to believe that Mr. Kozak is cheating? Yes, the lying about work. The lying so, about work. In the beginning of our relationship, he worked, like, part-time hours, 30 hours a week at the most. Okay. Shortly after, he had started working full-time hours plus some overtime, which is fine, no problem, more money. Right. So, I get on our account. We have a shared account, bank account. And I checked it when he got paid, and the money didn't increase. Huh. So I asked him about it, and he's like, oh, well, they're taking more taxes since I'm making more money. Okay, i Which, is, let which that is reasonable. Fly. Yeah, well, it's but... It's reasonable, but is it true? If I'm in the right tax bracket, it is, it is reasonable, and it is true. But that night, I had been cleaning the house and had found his work bag with his pay stubs in it. Ah. And these hours definitely were not matching up with what he was claiming he was working. So, did you ever go and confirm that he's working when he says he's working? Have you ever done that? Actually, when that happened, I had started sending my niece, Desiree, to his work to check up on him. Okay. And so, she... Did she see him at work? That's what she claims. Mr. Kozak, I mean... Because he needed some All these accusations time. and all the... Of her just thinking I'm cheating, it, honestly, I wanted to get away from her. I, I... You know, she would drive me crazy, and I, I... I couldn't stand it. Coupled with everything else, I mean, you can understand why she thinks that you're keeping time with somebody else, right? Oh, I understand why, but, you know, it's not true. And she's even said she sent her niece up there to see if you were at work. And I was there, and I called her out on it, too. What does your niece say about your relationship with Mr. Kozak? Oh, she absolutely agrees with me. She tells me that he's definitely cheating. You know, she knows the signs. She's been there. And she told me that I should leave him. Well, we have your side, your boyfriend's side, and we have your niece's side. She is here to testify. How are you, Miss Massey? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Now, you have been here... You were here before, is that correct? Yes. And you were accusing your aunt of cheating with your boyfriend, is that correct? Correct. All right, let's go to the clip. I suspect that he is cheating on me with my aunt. <laughs> your blood relative? Blood relative. Why would you think that your aunt is sleeping with your boyfriend? Well, because she's done it before. So, how has your relationship with your aunt been since you left court? Since leaving court, me and Cassie's relationship was okay. I mean, it didn't really go back to the way it was because, obviously, after leaving um, here, they had both admitted to sleeping together. Um, now, when she admitted it, finally, I had already broken up with him. So, I mean, I was... I was hurt, but I was okay with it because I knew he was trash anyway. Mm. Um... <laughs> She still comes to me and confides in me with her problems and everything. Um, I just wouldn't say it, it, was, it is what it used to be. But you all grew up, if I remember, like sisters. You all were very close. That is correct. And she still sees you as a confidant. Even though it may not be what it was, you all, I would still say, it sounds like you still have a close relationship. Oh, yeah. At the end of the day, I'll always have her back, um, to an extent. Well, you know, your aunt has testified that you believe that Mr. Kozak is cheating on her. 
That is correct. Right. So who do you believe he's cheating with? I'm going to let him tell you guys that. Oh. All right. Mr. Kozak. I don't know what she's talking about. We have done a complete investigation to get to the bottom of this, to find out the answers. At this time, the court would like to call former military interrogator Lena Sisko to find out, is he cheating? Wrong with the winner. How are you, Ms. Sisko? I am well, Your Honor. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you, as always. Thank you. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. So I first had the accused write a witness statement and I went through it looking for any indicators of truthfulness and deception. And then I studied their case files and I put together an interview plan and then I interviewed Mr. Kozak to see if he was cheating on Ms. Lewis. All right, Mr. Kozak, you're looking down, you got a weird smile on your face. Do you have something you need to tell this court and more importantly, Ms. Lures. Yes, there is, actually. All right. Last December, when me, you, and Desiree got drunk and you passed out, me and her had sex. Oh. <laughs> That's what we on. So, Mr. Kozak, are you saying this was just a one-time thing you're now confessing, or, or what's no. going on? Why are you smiling like it's funny? Well, I, I, I got a hold of her a couple days later to see if it was just a one-time thing. And, you know, it, it was a reincurring thing. And it happened more than once. So you've been having sex with her niece? Yes, I have. Since December? Yes. Ms. Massey, is that true? That is completely true. I have receipts. You have receipts? I have proof. Oh, These are text oh, messages between who and who? Me and Mr. Kozak. All right. He wrote, I can't wait for all this to come out so we can finally be together. I hate acting like I'm happy. I just want to be with you. Wow. I know, baby boy. You just got to get up the nerve to tell her. She's going to be mad, but oh well. I'm going to marry you one day. You wrote these? Yes, I did. Well, wait, there's more. I love you. I love you more. Hey, Daddy, how was work? It was good. Just wish I could have oh. came home to you. One day, baby, one day. I know. It can't come soon enough, though. Miss mm. Lewis. I feel sick. I, how, <laughs> I, I mean, this has to be a complete, utter shock to you. Oh, yeah. Like, I definitely thought we were past this. Two years. You waited that long? And you hid it from me, and this is how you're gonna bring it out hey, to me? I wanted to tell you forever ago, he was the one that didn't want to hurt you. Okay, we're family. I mean, I've you could have told to me. Jump on the opportunity we to tell you. We could have okay, done that. Was this payback for what happened before? No. You're no. sure? I mean, it crossed my mind in the beginning, but like I said, we both got drunk, and it and it and it happened. That was the first time. What about the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and all the other times? Sometimes you just get addicted. So, Mr. Kozak, it wasn't work that was tiring you out. It was trying to juggle these two women. That was what was exhausting you. But what about when she's done it five times to me? Why should I feel bad? So it is a revenge thing. It was in the beginning, yes, but not now. No. So you are testifying that you're in love with Mr. Kozak. I am. And you want to be with him? We are going to be together. And Mr. Kozak, so I guess the hard question, the question du jour. When you walk out of this courtroom, who are you going home with? Oh, that's no question. That's right. <laughs> You're going home with Miss Massey. Yes, I am. You got your stuff packed? It'll yes, be at your mom's before you get home. <laughs> this, this, is, this is bad. Yeah, yeah, I was done two years ago. I thought we were over it, you know? Of course you were after you hurt me over and over and over. Oh, because I did over it intentionally. Oh, yeah, you... I, I, I oh, didn't wait a minute. feel bad How do you for hurting you. sleep with your niece's boyfriend five times. Okay, yeah, and I understand that. I made my mistake. Okay, but, but I, I don't want to hear that. I didn't intentionally think. I was actually drunk. I actually made a mistake. I continued to do it because I wanted to. Okay. I'm not claiming that that was a mistake. The first time it was a mistake, we shouldn't have continued it, but we fell in love. You can't help who you love. Okay. The difference is, is you intentionally sober, screwed, 
Five of my boyfriends preceded a relationship with two. One lasted almost five months. But, Miss Massey, <laughs> if yeah. you already know what that feels like, you've done the same thing. And, and I, two wrongs don't make it right. I wanted to tell her after the <laughs> first time. I didn't mean out of respect for him. Well, everybody needs to go see Dr. Jeff up in here right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't wish you well, but I do wish you gone out of here. <laughs> so. And...